Welcome back. Local shops and restaurants are trying to find new ways to do business in order to keep some revenue coming in, of course, during the safer at home order, even beauty salon. Yeah, the owner of Honeycomb Salon in Whitefish Bay came up with a plan to help clients from home. And the Wisconsin Department of Safety and Professional Services says her plan is allowed and other salons can follow suit. Meet six-year-old Elin, the first recipient of an at-home hair color kit dropped off at her door by the owner of Honeycomb Salon. Was this your, your first time ever coloring your hair? Yeah. With four kids at home, mom is running out of ways to entertain. I just thought, okay, here's our art lesson for the day. Instead of painting on paper, we're going to paint your hair. Right. <laughs> Elin's big sister helped. Of course, they chose pink. I just wish I could be somewhere else instead of just staying in my house forever. That feeling is shared by those who style hair for a living and rely on that income to make ends meet. Hopefully it's not as long as expected and we can get back to regular life, which me and the other stylists can't wait. Until then, they've created these do-it-yourself color kits. Yesterday I sent out about five kits and I dropped two off at people's houses. So we had them send a picture um, of their color in natural light. Inside the kit, we have a the color and then the developer separated so that when you get it, you mix it together yourself. And then in the kit, we put a brush, two gloves, and a cap. Directions are included and the stylist can help via FaceTime. That help a two-way street. I've really been trying to actively seek out ways to give to businesses and um, in our community. We've also had some gracious clients like Venmo or PayPal us like a tip ahead of time or they've prepaid for their service, which has just been like incredible because obviously we have no cash flow. So that's been so great. And for the exact rules from the state regarding at-home hair color kits, just click on this story at tmj4.com open. That's also where you can find a long list of small businesses still operating under Safer at Home. We will be right back.